the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 175, 2 Kings 15 to 16. Assyrian Empire's entrance, the decline of the Lord. The threat of new empire Assyria approached, and rebellions continued in North Israel. North Israel, who left God, was thrown into a great crisis. First point, the 10th king of South Judah, Uzziah, was able to form a stable kingdom through the help of the prophet Zechariah. The reign of Jeroboam II came to an end in North Israel, and through the series of coup d'etat, five kings, Zechariah, Shalom, Menahem, Pekahiah, and Pekah came and went. During this time in South Judah, Azariah or Uzziah was reigning for 52 years in peace. King Uzziah managed to follow in his father's ways and did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. This was thanks to the prophet Zechariah's help. South Judah had conquered Philistine and furthermore was receiving tribute from Ammon. But when the prophet Zechariah died, Uzziah became arrogant and tried to act like a priest, and so God punished him. He consequently suffered from leprosy, and so had to step out of his palace. In the meantime, his son, Jotham, became king. Second point, coup d'etat continued in North Israel ferociously. Zechariah, who became king after Jeroboam II, only reigned for six months, as Shalom orchestrated a coup d'etat. During the six months, all Zechariah did was to follow in Jeroboam's way. Zechariah's death through Shalom's coup d'etat was fulfillment of God's words to Jehu. Jehu's descendants were Jehu Ahaz, Jehu Ashi, Jeroboam II, and Zechariah. But Shalom, who killed Zechariah, only reigned for a month due to the coup d'etat by Menahem. Shalom also went in the way of Jeroboam for the months he reigned. Menahem became king in such circumstances. As such, the kings of North Israel did not give much thought to David's way of a kingdom of priests, but rather craved power for themselves. Those who possessed power through coup d'etat all went in the way of Jeroboam. Jeroboam's acts of making golden calf idols in Dan and Bethel was followed by his successors, and this eventually led to the downfall of the country. Menahem ruled for 10 years, and during those years, he went in the way of Jeroboam. He had to offer tribute to Assyria for survival. Menahem made North Israel pay tribute to Assyria. One good thing for him was that he did not get murdered and was able to pass down his monarchy to his son. But his son Pekahiah also went in the way of Jeroboam for the two years. He reigned and then died because of the next coup d'etat. Third point, Pekah, the king of North Israel, made an alliance with Lesin, the king of Aram, to go against Assyria. The 18th king of North Israel, Pekah, went in the way of Jeroboam for the 20 years he reigned. Pekah chose to make an alliance with the powerful Aram instead of turning to God. He made an alliance with the king of Aram called Lesin in order to go against Assyria. Pekah furthermore proposed to South Judah to join the alliance, but South Judah refused this alliance. Then, Aram and North Israel threatened to attack South Judah first. When South Judah became desperate, they instead made an alliance with Assyria. Assyria then attacked Aram and North Israel. 
Pekka's alliance resulted in the people of North Israel being taken captive to Assyria. But this punishment had been forewarned previously in Leviticus. Fourth point, the twelve king of South Judah, Ahaz, made an alliance with Assyria after feeling threatened from the alliance between North Israel and Aram. During the time North Israel was in the process of its fall, the twelfth king of South Judah, called Ahaz, ruled for 16 years and did evil in the eyes of God. Ahaz is easily one of the worst kings of South Judah. Ahaz served the idols of Ammon, and after rejecting the proposal to join the North Israel Arab alliance, South Judah was threatened by North Israel and Aram. When things became desperate for South Judah, Ahaz called to Assyria for help. Fifth point, Isaiah told King Ahaz that Assyria came into sin for God's management of a kingdom of priests. When North Israel and Aram attacked South Judah, Ahaz showed the Assyrian king the treasures and storage areas of the Jerusalem palace and the temple and pleaded for help. When this proposal came, Assyria stepped on board as they were looking for an opportunity to attack. But it was here that God sent Isaiah and told them a way to be saved. Isaiah told Ahaz not to be afraid of the alliance between North Israel and Aram, and that they were to ask for God's help. Ahaz made it out to Isaiah that he was too holy to ask God for a sign, and instead sent gifts and tribute to the Assyrian king asking for help. Ahaz moreover elected the Assyrian idol in the temple through Uriah, who was a failed prophet. Ahaz went to Assyria and was most impressed when he saw the Assyrian idol. To Ahaz, the Assyrian god appeared much stronger than the real god. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondok app. The Tondok app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer and you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondok app.